When it was first announced that Eddie Murphy would be coming back to his old stumping grounds, Saturday Night Live, after 35 years, fans of comedy could not hold in their excitement. Everyone made sure that they were going to tune in. Like Eddie said, if you're black, this is the first episode since I left in 1984. It has been so long since the audience has seen that side of Eddie Murphy, many wondered if he still had it. Back in October, Eddie Murphy showed off his effortless talents in the Netflix film, Dolomite Is My Name, and last night he returned to the show that made him an undeniable star. Is he going to bring back his old characters? Is he going to be doing stand-up in his monologue? Is Eddie Murphy still funny? Those were all the questions that were asked and answered last night. So of course, we here at Comedy Hype have to ask, did Eddie Murphy's return to SNL meet expectations? All right, so Eddie Murphy on SNL. Yes, amazing. Show. It was cool. Amazing. All right, but I'll get it right into it. If I had to rate it on a scale one through 10. With 10 being I'm, the best. I'm going with the seven. So, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not get into the ratings yet. It's and I'm seven. shocked that you're giving this a low seven. Mm -hmm. So why seven? And well, let's start with the monologue. Okay. Right. So in the monologue, I was, me personally, I was hoping to see like a glimpse into what we're going to get with the special, the Netflix special. Okay. Right. So when you bring on Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Tracy Morgan, like to get help during it, I was like, I wanted to see Eddie Murphy during that moment. So you have to understand though, I thought it was awesome. I thought this was a big moment. I thought it was notable. It was historic. These are the guys that he bought into the game. He the one that put these guys on. You got to think about Tracy Morgan, who he put in uh, Coming to America. Then you have Chris Rock in Boomerang. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, uh, Dave Chappelle in The, the Nutty Professor. Professor. Right. So this was awesome for him to bring them back during his return. But who would you have wanted to, uh, to see? Well, no, no. Well, we can get into that. But I would put them in sketches. This monologue, this is a huge moment for Eddie Murphy because you have to remember, Eddie Murphy wasn't rocking with SNL, especially after that David Spade joke went over. He wasn't rocking with SNL, so for him to come back now in 2019, this is his grand return, that monologue should have been Eddie. And at that point, I don't think like everything like was addressed. It's so much going on right now. Oh my God. It's so Here much go. going on what right now. What you want the man to talk about? What did it, you want him to talk about? I just don't think he hit every point. Like, we literally are witnessing our president be impeached. I that just happened yesterday. I don't want to hear uh, Eddie Murphy talking about Donald Trump's impeachment. Like, how you avoid that? I don't want to hear that. We hear that enough. I want Eddie Murphy to come on to SNL and give us what he gave us, and that's entertainment. I don't want to hear Eddie Murphy talking about Donald Trump being impeached. We hear that every day, all day, every day. You laughed. You know, now I do agree. I would have loved to see Dave Chappelle in a couple of those uh, skits. Exactly. Especially, Especially the, the Black the Jeopardy, Jeopardy skits. Skit. Yes. Exactly. That would exactly. Have been, I agree with you on that But one. I just don't think everything was hit. Like, you, you missed the impeachment. I mean, Eddie Murphy hasn't been around in, what, years. You could talk about the music in 2019, 2020. Lizzo is literally standing right next to you. Tell Lizzo what all of us is thinking and just tell her to stop showing all of us her ass. Like, you could have, it's so much you could have hit on that I'm like, I think he skated away from. So it sounds like to me, you wanted him to use this moment to go and give a, I have a dream speech. And here no. you go with that extra wokeness again. You're too no. woke. Eddie Murphy went up there and did what he does. And that's entertaining. He's never been that guy. He's never been that comedian. Dave Chappelle is great at that. Dave Chappelle is Give us go. what Dave Chappelle did in 2016. So you want him to be Dave Chappelle? No, but I want you to address like relevant social issues that we see, like address what we living through every day and make it funny. That's what comedians do. I, I like risky comedians. I'm sorry. I the think he was risky. Stuff, it's just, I think he, he, he addressed gentrification. During the um, during the uh, Mr. Robinson's neighborhood skit, okay. he just addressed the IG models and the scam that they doing during mm -hmm. the Black Jeopardy skit. He addressed interracial marriage. He addressed. He talked. He took a shot at Bill Cosby. He cracked the joke about Kevin Hart. What y'all want the man to do? Everybody want. Uh, I have a dream speech. Now, well, do you want to laugh or do you want to clap and say right on? Like what you want? I thought it was. Did you I laugh? Did you laugh out loud? Yes, I laughed. So what else you want? 
I want more of a statement. Like, I want you to take that moment and dive into and make a statement. In this day and age, I think it's important to make bold statements. <laughs> he I made really it. do. No, but I think it was kind of skated across. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. But I mean, I mean, so take Dave Chappelle, right? When he was on in SNL, he addressed Omarosa. He addressed Trump. He addressed mass shootings. You know, things that are going on. I just feel like elephants in the room weren't addressed. That's why it gets a seven for me. I think if he would not have mentioned Bill Cosby and him being locked up for what he did, because Eddie Murphy was lived through all of that. They all came kind of address Bill Cosby, address Oprah. Why? Address Oprah. You, address. you want the man to get banned from SNL. <laughs> yes. Why does everybody want <laughs> Yes. You want him to go up there and offend people. You want him to talk about gay people again. You want him to offend people. He went up there and no. entertained us. You laughed, I laughed, and the rest of America laughed. So he did his job. So with that being said, mm -hmm. I personally, I am going to give... Eddie Murphy, is this a not? This is now. Let's make sure it wasn't a six. I'm gonna give him a whole nine. I'm going with the seven. Well, it gets so, a seven. So I know why yours wasn't a ten. I'll tell you why. My yeah. Why only, why isn't yours a ten? The only reason it wasn't is because when he bought the other comedians on stage, I would have loved to see Martin Lawrence come up there. Martin Lawrence should have been on that stage as well. Martin yeah. Lawrence and Eddie Murphy gave us one with life. Mm -hmm. And Martin was in Boomerang. Mm -hmm. So if Martin Lawrence would have come on that stage, it would have been a 10 across the board. That's it. Everything else was hilarious. I laughed out loud several times. I was entertained. I was happy to see Eddie Murphy back. I was happy to see him with his peers. It was amazing. I would have liked Cat Williams. Eddie Murphy is making a return. Cat Williams. Like, I would have liked something Where spicy did that like even, that. What? <laughs> See, people just want to see some mess. You just, you just. I would have liked Cat Williams, someone bold enough to give no us one, something. None like, of us know where Cat Williams know, is. That's no. why he should have made a return for Eddie Murphy. Like, give us something like. I just would have wanted a little we more don't flavor. We want to see Cat Williams come up there and ruin the moment. <laughs> <laughs> ask the people what they think. Let's ask the people. So let us know in the comments below, guys. Did Eddie Murphy's SNL return meet expectations? Until next week, it's CJ and Sade with Comedy Hype News. Oh.